Here's my drawing. And there's the finished product. Tell me we're gonna have to cut wood in the dark. Oh my God. Hey, yeah, Some wonder good. that we fit 10 footers, four oh. 10 footers, five masonite boards, hard boards. And then here we're gonna fill in Beautiful. Bought this much wood. Love it. Last one. I'm I'm impressed that we fit all these in. I have to look. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Hopefully. How do you like your uh, your armrest? We're, We're doing great. We're doing awesome. We're fine. We it's, like it. It we feels like good. It. We like it. Welcome to my humble workshop, meaning my driveway. I've got my cut list right here. My trusty pencil and my trusty lever lock, and we're doing it. Ready, go. <laughs> we did it. We have all of this in here. We got the hardboard in, all five panels. I cut them last night. All the boards are cut to length, exactly how the, the plan was. So I'm gonna <laughs> put it together and see if the plan was right. All right, here's all the LED lights. We got spotlights that are LEDs and stuff. I brought way, way more than I needed on supplies. I brought tons of screws, different sizes. I brought putty just in case. Here's my plan. That space right there.
this right here is the last piece of wood I'm gonna install before I put panels up. Holy cow, we're almost there. Lift it up just slightly. Pull the shims out. And we are ready to attach this to the platform. Okay, minor detail. I'm gonna back up a step because I put this bar in and it's gonna attach to the platform, but I didn't account for <laughs> these wires right here. I think I accounted for them at some point, but I need to shift everything over. Luckily, I'm gonna be able to do that. So I've got a pull right there, the stud, so I'll just shift it over like probably five inches, six inches. Just to show you what I'm talking about. Now that I've shifted that over, there's plenty of room for this little mouse hole. <laughs> These cables feed through right here. Hole. <laughs> okay, pause for a minute. I had to take a break because, um, yeah, my battery died on my driver. So I just kind of took a break. What you might see, I've got one of these panels in already, that middle angle panel. Um, and what ended up happening is I wanted to see what it would look like in place. So I put it in and I kind of love it, right? But now it's like wedged between this stud and this stud. And I don't want to pull it out because I almost bent it. You can kind of see, oh, you can't even see it. There's a little piece right here it was a little bit bent, and I was like, yeah, I don't want to risk actually bending it. So it's in. <laughs> I kind of love where this is going. There's a little bit of overlap. This is where some LED strips are going to go, and then these panels on the side. Oh, this is going to look so cool. I can't wait. It's coming along really, really nicely. Um, one thing I failed to account for was when I put those bars in to attach it to the platform, I didn't account for the fact that it would push these panels up. So the panels are about two inches higher, so I'm gonna have to score that off. I started marking it right there. The middle panel that I did cut, that I counted for everything top and bottom, is the perfect height, but <laughs> these ones, are about two inches too tall. This one, however, boy, we, we struck gold on that one. Exactly, exactly the pattern. I mean, this just fits so comfortably right there as a result of that notch we cut out, so. Um, and I love this edge right here because this edge is gonna add some depth and character. I am glad that I brought the wood putty because even though these are countersunk, there are some divots and I'm gonna, and, and, I, and I just frankly missed right there. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in with some putty and just fill those in. I am cutting and I have it lined up. The wall is 32, or excuse me, 72 wide with a three and a half inch going this way. I figured if I did 72, 
plus three and a half, plus a little extra, you know, like a half inch, that'd be 76. Uh, and you know, if it's a little longer, a little shorter, that's not the end of the world, as long as it's straight. Push it down hard so it doesn't wiggle. This looks incredible. This looks so cool. I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, to get this last piece, I will probably need to unhook the platform again. I was hoping not to have to do that, but I think I'll have to do that to get the electrical stuff going behind it too. So I'm gonna have to push off from, from the wall a little bit. Stepping back, sure it's not finished, but that right there looks insane. That looks so cool. Um, next, after I finish that last bottom row, I'm gonna do the lights themselves and the cover for the lights and probably paint that backdrop. is officially up and I left those scraps for the bottom because you can really tell that there's scraps left over so you can barely tell on this side it was two different prints so it is what it is and you know the reason I left it at the bottom is because from here it'll be pretty much imperceptible so I'm not concerned about it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install those light bars. They're gonna be two in the middle one, three over here, and then three on this side. So they're gonna be evenly spaced. Spotlights are gonna go. I've already marked and pre-drilled a couple little holes for their little screws. And then I mounted this plug into the wall so that I'll leave everything on and all I have to do is just turn it on, turn it off.
Okay, are you seeing this? Holy cow, this looks incredible. Oh my gosh, the way those lights come down. That is so good. Okay, I need to paint this thing before I put the other LED strips in. I've got other LED strips that are gonna come down here and they're gonna kind of bathe the light kind of right here. Look at this, that looks so freaking awesome. I'm at a loss, this is cool. Oh, <laughs> this is really coming up. It's really coming along. got the remote receiver here it's all plugged in and I've got each pass of the LED lights two strips and one across the top two strips on this side and it races down and loops back up again I ought to secure that a little better because it looks like it's starting to come up but I have a couple more of those little connectors these little guys, they don't give you very many of them. Um, but let's turn it on for the first time, shall we? Oh. Holy cow. That's cool. That's so cool. All we have to do now is just put the, we have to put the cap on. We have to put the, the border around the top. We should probably paint that too. Okay, we are officially calling this done. I've got, I've got it put back in the corner where it goes. I've got the lighting set up. I've even got that, that cover on top. It looks so good. <laughs> it's, it turned out better than I thought it would, that top thing. Uh, the desk is back in place. All the wiring's back in place too. Um, I've got two uh, desk mics that go up into this desk. You can see them underneath here. They just kind of hang here so we can plug in. I've got two TVs under there too. One's a multi-view and the other's a teleprompter. So if somebody is puppeteering, they can, uh, they can follow along the script. If I could critique myself about, you know, like what, what would I change? Love the design, love the lights, love the color even. It was just a color I found in my garage. I had no idea, but two of the 
10 foot two by fours that I bought were kind of twisted. And as a result, there is a little bit of like overcorrecting. this part right here is not perfectly straight and I had to compensate for way up on top, the, the two by four, uh, the 10 footer for some reason is just a little twisted. And I thought I got all straight ones, so there you go. But I love the way that it's all set up because all I need to do at the end of the day is just click off the light, LEDs are down. Now the whole thing will come up at the flick of that little switch right there. 